That leads me to the topic of creativity and the importance of it. So we have AI emerging, which people, some people are very terrified of, and I get that. And then you have the other perspective, which is the thing that it'll never be as human and where it'll be, where it will fall short is creativity. And you have Jack Ma's perspective, which is you don't need to work. You you can just live and you can just create. But you have so many people that say, I'm not a creative because we have prioritized left brain thinking in a lot of our cultures, right? It's like do, climb, conquer, analyze those things. And we haven't prioritized creative energy or art or expression. So how for how do you tap into creative en- energy, um, especially moving forward? Creativity is, I believe everyone is creative, first of all. And I don't, I don't think every anyone can deny that because we all create our reality, and at least that using your brain and setting your intention or having that pattern, even though it's an unconscious or subconscious, we create our reality in some certain degree. Then that means we all can be creative, but I think we lack the inspirations because most of the people who, well, not food, but most a lot of people just do something not inspiring or watch something not inspiring and talk to people not inspiring then i don't think i don't think there's a chance for for these people to be creative but if you always talk to people who is inspiring in in the way that you know you want to be inspired whether it's a success or whether it's art whether it's a uh, the ai or the new things or the sports then i think that person will grow their own creativity way faster than the people who is not inspired. And like I came from a fashion world and I'm, you know, still very like into fashion, but I was so obsessed with getting inspired. Oh my God, this person is like, look at this color, look at this, look at this texture, and look at this, you know, like, oh, this this item and that item and the rings and the details and everything. I was so inspired by a lot of people all over the world. That's why I could train my creativity to express that with my body and with my taste. And the, you know, video editing as well. Like I was inspired from a lot of people. That's why now I have some certain style that I can show it to the world and i can share with the message that i want to um, deliver but that creativity also had to be trained by mm-hmm. getting inspired you know listening to people and then watching people and then like yeah it's just genuinely getting inspired i believe it's so so important in, in any level in any in any level in life so i think people need to be mindful what kind of informations and um, what kind of people and friends and everything else that surrounds you. Is it inspiring? Like, are you getting inspired to be creative rather than like, Oh, I'm not creative. Like, don't be lazy. Like you should Mm -hmm. take responsibility in that because you create your reality. And then from that perspective, it's definitely better to be creative. Mm hmm. Yeah, they say it's the type of energy that the more you use it, the more you have. So it's yeah. it just like so it exponentially grows. So yes, like be inspired, put yourself in situations that you're going to have novelty and have something that kind of like brings you to life instead of something that zombifies you or makes you just tune out. So go into nature, meet new people, read new books, make sure that the content that you're consuming doesn't like, you know, when you watch something and it like triggers you and you're like, oh, that brings out the worst in me. So don't follow those yeah. people, right? Like don't consume it. You have a choice. But for some reason, I think we feel like we have to constantly know what everyone is doing. And sometimes like you have to do what I would say most of the time you have to do what's best for yourself and not necessarily do things because you're like, well, if I unfollow them, it's going to create a problem. Well, if it's if it's taking your peace away, then maybe it's something to, to consider. Absolutely. Um, I have a friend. And with, with the creativity, then I think, I, I don't know your audience, but, you know, a lot of people nowadays want to gain more followers and to establish presence and or maybe to utilize social media for, for the business. I have a friend who recently reached 1 million of subscribers on YouTube, which is quite a lot. Um, mm-hmm. 
not as yours, but <laughs> one million subscribers, you know, is 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 big. And she literally told me, "Hey, your channel is is also like growing really, like significantly." And I was like, "Thank you, but congratulations for one million followers, subscribers." And she told me, "Like I am like literally studying your videos." And I was like, "Like." Chill. You have ten times bigger. Like your channel is <laughs> ten times bigger than me. Why are you studying mine? <laughs> but she's like, she still studies. She still goes into these videos and YouTubers and like watch video and learn from it, even though the channel is smaller than hers. And no wonder why that she she gains one million subscribers. I think that's very very important. You know, like learning and getting inspired. Without judging、um, the number of the subscribers or the followers or the, how famous they are, like whatever it is. Oh my! I I really detest that perspective. I I can't stand when someone's like, "Well, you have to have a certain amount of followers to be on," or whatever it is. It just seems very like Machiavellianism, like、uh, means to an end. Like I'm just taking instead of giving, instead of. Leading with natural curiosity, or having a beginner's mindset and saying I can learn something from everyone, not like I have a million followers. So unless someone <laughs> has that right, like they don't know what they're doing. I agree. I think your content, I like it is magical. Like I love the artistic vision that you have, the lights, the colors, the like the mood, the textures, like everything. There's so much thought put into it. So I mean, I have no doubt that your channel is gonna blow up everywhere. I mean, you're already wildly successful, but I absolutely like I know it's going to continue to grow. So, yeah, anyone that has that perspective that because they have more followers, they somehow have figured out something more than you, I think is nonsense. Because a lot of it is luck, a lot of it is timing, and then I think the rest is、uh, discipline and reps. But there, a big chunk of it is not something that you can claim as the reason that. Like you can't claim it. Like you are the reason for that success, because there is a little bit of serendipity that happens, or a lot of it.、Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your compliment. I appreciate you're, it. You're you're very welcome.